What's good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off with JanJag.com, 904 to Bowl City Duval. We in the fucking building yet again. Welcome to the spotlight. Or if you put the work in, I'll put your name out. You understand me? So, today's lucky recipient is Colin Johnson. Now, Colin, jo now, I know the obvious one, like, damn near every week would be James Robinson, but I'm going to save him until next week next week at least because i'm pretty sure he's gonna have a monster game against tennessee and he'll get over a thousand yards and probably break the uh undrafted rookie scrimmage uh yards record so i'm gonna save him for next week but uh i want to talk about colin johnson because i've been singing the praises of colin johnson for a minute now for those of y'all that don't kind of know his story colin johnson last year during his junior season should have could have been was pretty much penciled in as a second round pick at the very worst, a third round pick. But he went back for his uh, senior season to try and, you know, improve his draft stock. He suffered an injury and it dropped his draft stock and the Jaguars snagged him up in the four, in the fifth round. Now this dude is sick. This dude's like six, six athletic and athletic as fuck. And since he's been incorporated into the game plan, like, he's got half of his catches in the last two games. Since he's been in the game plan a little bit more, like, his abilities are starting to shine. Like, this dude has a lot of fucking potential. Like, LaVisca Chenault, like, I love Visca, but um, the thing about him is he's a great second option. Like, you know, he's perfect for what we're doing with DJ Chark. Like, he's a good guy. You can line up anywhere, like, in the slot, the backfield, all that shit. And, you know, he's a good second second look to get the ball. And um, he's a beast. Like, Visca's a monster. I love Visca. But with Colin Johnson, what I see with him, I see, like, number one receiver potential in this dude. Like, look at, the look at all the times we've gone for two points this year. The two-point conversions. And what are the only times that we've made it? Go back to this week and then go back to the uh, first time we played the Texans. When is the only time we've converted a two-point conversion? When we throw the fucking ball to Colin Johnson in the red zone? Well, not even in the red zone, just like in, just like close to the goal line. Like here's the th like here's the thing. When we get down close to the goal line, it should be so obvious. Either we if we're not running the ball with James Robinson, it, you should be, like, that third down play, you should be throwing a fade route to Colin Johnson because he's going to win most one-on-one -on -one battles. And like I said, you throw in the fact that this dude's athletic, like, you know, you saw him do a goddamn standing back flip in week one when we won, and then um, f and then doing a front flip into the end zone uh, last week against Cleveland. Like, like somebody, asked, like somebody posted my comments, like, what's your thoughts on him? I think this dude's going to be, I think this dude's going to be a problem. Like, I really, truly think this dude is going to be a problem for years to come. Like, he, he's got number one receiver type potential, and he's a hell of a fine. Might be one of the best, might be one of the best draft picks we made this year. But, you know, like, I don't know, but just, this dude is like, I just think he's a good one. I think he's a good wide receiver. And I think he's, and you know, that he has a good work ethic and a good guy off the field. I think this guy is going to be legit for a long time. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. He works hard. And, you know, he battled back from an injury. Like, and, you know, he's a dog. So, just, I, just like, I want to, I want to have him incorporated in the, in the game. Like, when I do, like, next year when I do, my list of top five Jaguars or top 10 Jaguars poised for a breakout year, he's going to be on the list. He might be number, he might be number one. Cause I think, you know, now that, you know, a year removed from his injury, like now that he can real and like the offense start to use him more and likely Keelan Cole and definitely Chris Conley and DD Westbrook are going to be gone next year. You know, it's going to be more of an opportunity for this guy to make plays. Like, with him, Visca, and Shark, the future looking pretty bright bright in Jacksonville at receiver. So, yeah, I'm definitely, like, I thought that for as far as value, that might have been the best draft pick we made. It would have been James Robinson if we would have drafted him, but, of course, we wasted our sixth and seventh round pick on two ways of space and Jake Lutton and, um, uh, what the hell, Chris Claybrooks. I don't know which one of them is a bigger fucking disgrace. 
Well, actually, actually, yes, I do. It, 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 it's Lutton by far. He should have never been on a football field. He's probably one of the worst quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life. And then um, <coughs> Chris Claybrooks, even though, as long as he's not he's not playing cornerback or returning kicks, he actually does do some good things on special teams. Like in that aspect, he's fine. He at least does something right. But Jake Luton just does everything wrong. He's an absolute fucking atrocity. But anyway, this ain't about those dickheads. Um, but yeah, I, I love what I'm seeing from Colin Johnson, and I hope the dude keeps it up because, you know, if this guy can really reach his full potential and, like, just imagine when Justin Fields or Je uh, Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson or Kyle Trask or Trey Lance or whoever the fuck we draft gets a hold of this guy, um, I think he's going to turn into a hell of a weapon. So we definitely got that right. But anyway... I said that's all. Your spotlight play your spotlight player of the week, Colin Johnson. So y'all have a good one. It's your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Do vault till I die. And I'm gone.